Hey everyone, in this tutorial we will model a combat knife. We will dive a little bit deeper into surface modeling because it's essential to know when you want to model more complex curves and shapes. If you have any suggestions on products you want me to model, please let me know. We are going to start with the blade and in the next video we are going to model the handle. We're going to start with a sketch on the front plane and we're going to sketch a profile that we will use as a guide tool. So let's first insert some center lines. And then give the center line some dimensions. This line will be under 23. This line over here will be 8. This one 11. And between these two points will be 71. And we're going to insert some lines. This line will be 22. And we're going to select arc, draw arc over here, one over here, one over here, and another one over here. And let's give these arcs some dimensions. will be 2, the length will be 22.5 and the radius will be 50. The radius of this arc will be 150, of this arc it will be 250. And the distance between this point and this point will be 29. Now we're going to draw a couple of more lines to close the profile. We'll draw a line over here. An arc. And then a straight line over here. And we will make this horizontal. And the distance between these points will be 5. And this distance will be 0 0.5. And the distance between this point and this point will be 15 and we will make this tangent we will make this curve also tangent and make sure this point is vertical with this point then our sketch is fully defined then we can extrude it we're going to extrude it in two directions and both with a distance of 2.25. So select direction 2, 2.25. The blade is divided into three different surfaces and we're first gonna draw the first surface which is a flat surface. So select this face And we're going to draw another profile, select center line, draw a center line from the origin, and give this a dimension of 86. Then select comfort entities and select these lines. 
then we're going to insert some more arcs. And let's make these arcs tangent. Then the distance between this point and this point is 25. And the radius of this arc will be 785. Then select arc again. Then draw an arc here. Distance between this point and this point is 61. And the height between the origin and this point is 2.25. We're going to draw another line on the middle of this arc. And connect these lines with an arc. And we can trim this line. Give this line some dimensions. It will be 1.5. The distance will be 3.5. Make it tangents. So we're going to add another dimension between this point and this point. It will be 4. Let's then leave the sketch. Select the surfaces. And then we're going to fill this profile with a surface. So we're going to select Filled Surface. Click OK. And then we have our first surface. Then we're going to draw our second surface. And it is a curved surface from this point to this point and then somewhere around here. So first we're going to insert a plane. So select plane, select this surface. I'm going to flip the plane with a distance of 2. OK. Then we're going to select the plane. And we're going to add a point right here. Leave the sketch. And you also have to add a point right here. We first will insert another plane. So select plane. And then we're going to select this point, this point, and the top plane. And we're going to draw on the plane. And we're going to add another point. And leave the sketch. And then we have the points right where we want it. To draw the surface over here, we have to use a 3D sketch. So let's first hide these planes. And then select Sketch, and here you can select 3D Sketch. First, we're going to draw some guidelines. So select center line, then draw a center line from this point to this point, and then to this point. Then let's hide this extrude. and draw a line from this point to the surface. Then we will convert these entities. We will unhide the extrude, and then we're going to draw these lines. But first we have to draw some other center lines. We're going to draw a center line from this point to here. And we're going to delete this coincidence. 
and we're going to make this along I. We're going to do the same with this line. Select center line. Because I want this point on this line, but I want this line to be vertical. And here we're also going to insert the line in the middle. So we're going to give this line a dimension of 0.5. And let's make sure it is also vertical. And we can finish the sketch. Select arc. And we're going to draw an arc from this point to this point. We're going to connect it to this point. And another arc from this point to this point. Connect it with this point. And then close the sketch. Then we have the profile for our second surface. We're going to leave the sketch with the surfaces. Click the field surface, click on our sketch, then click OK. After this, we're going to draw the third surface. So let's unhide our extrude. We're going to use the first plane to convert some entities on. So select convert entities. And I want this line and this line on the plane. And this will be for construction. And let's leave the sketch. And from this point to this point, I want to have a arc. But we first have to insert the plane between those points. So let's hide the extrude. Click on plane. Select this point and this point. And then select the front plane. And we're going to sketch on this plane. We're going to draw an arc. We're going to connect this arc. this point in this line and we're going to give this arc a radius of 8. Let's leave the sketch and then hide this plane and then we have all the points we need to make another 3D sketch. So select 3D sketch and we're going to convert all these entities okay we have our profile and then we have to draw some other lines to make sure the surface will be smooth let's go to 3d sketch and draw a line over here Leave the sketch. We're going to make another 3D sketch and draw a line over here. We're going to survey this. Field surface. Select the profile. And then select this guide curve and this guide curve. Click OK. And then we have our three surfaces. Now we're going to knit the surfaces together. And then we use mirror to mirror the surfaces to the other side. So we're going to use the front plane. And select the bodies to mirror. Select the, this body. Click OK. And then we will fill up the gaps. We have the surfaces, the 
boundary service, and then we select all these individually. For these two lines, we're going to use an extrude with a sketch, a sketch on this face, that convert entities, that these two lines with the surfaces, extrude, and then we're going to extrude up to this vertex, hit OK. And then we're going to knit everything together and select try to form solid. On the top the blade has a profile where you can saw with. And we're going to use curve driven pattern to draw this profile. We're just going to select the front plane. And we're going to select convert entities. Select this curve. Now we have our guide curve for the curve driven pattern. We're going to leave the sketch. And we go to the front plane again. And we're going to draw an ellipse on the edge, connected with this point. We're going to give it a height of 1. And this dimension will be 1.5. We're going to cut this profile. Select extruded cut, and then select both directions. Then we have our feature and our guideline for the curve driven pattern, because this cut will be along this curve. So we're going to select curve driven pattern, select this for our direction, and then select this cut for our feature. The spacing between the cuts will be 1.5. 55 and we will have 28 cuts. Then we do the same over here. So we first gonna select the front plane. We're going to draw another guideline. So click on convert entities. This will be our guideline. Leave the sketch. Then we go to front plane again. We're going to select ellipse. We're going to draw an ellipse over here with the same dimensions. So this will be so this will be one. This will be 1.5. And the distance between these points will be 0 0.05. Then we have a profile, we go to cut, then we have our feature and our guideline, so we go to curve driven pattern, select the direction, we're going to make this 30. Then somewhere around here we have another part where you can solve it. So we're going to create another sketch. Go to the front plane. Click sketch. And first draw the guideline. Click convert entities. This edge. And then leave the sketch. 
Then we're going to make another sketch on the front plane. Select the ellipse. I'm going to draw an ellipse over here. Connected to this point. It gives this ellipse some dimensions. This will be 2.5. This will be five. Then we go to features, extrude cut, click OK. Then we go to the front plane again. Then I select the lips. ellipse over here and an ellipse over here this will be 3 and go to features extrude and extrude both directions again and we have our features and our guideline and we're going to insert another curve driven pattern We're going to select this line as a direction. This feature, distance will be 11. We'll flip the direction and the number of instances will be 4. Okay. And we're going to select the curve driven pattern again. Select the direction. And then we're going to select this feature. The number of instances will be three. Click OK. And the only thing we have to do is insert some chamfers. Like chamfer. Let's make this 0.5. Then select all these edges. And the only thing we have to do is add some chamfers on the edge. So we're going to select chamfer again. And select this edge. This will be 0 0.22. This will be 70 degrees. The only thing we have to do is the other side. So select chamfer. And then the blade is done. And in the next video, we will model the handle. Thank you for watching.